I didn't hear of the FRS. Uh, in the meantime, they got me a Scion this time. <laughs> so I'm driving the Scion IM. But it's pretty sporty. It's got a sport mode. You can shift. Uh, likes to rev up, you know, over 6,000. I'm on the freeway. No issues. So, uh, you know, while I don't have my car, maybe we'll do a little walk around in this car after. So everybody have a great day. And, uh, hey, check this out. The Scion IM. in the Scion IM, and uh, just thinking on the way home, um, since I've been driving a couple of different Toyota cars, maybe I'll do a little comparison of the uh, the IM to the Corolla, because I had that for uh, almost a week. And I can tell you immediately, um, I like the IM. You know, the, the seats feel a little bit firmer, the sport mode actually works, it feels good. And I know no one likes to hear that, oh yeah, it's car, it feels good, it feels sporty. But it is, it's more responsive. And if I could put it in, you know, put it in perspective, I would say the Corolla feels more American. It feels like rolly and and super quiet. It's hard to even hear it. You can hear wind noise, but you can't hear the engine. You know, it's almost like driving a Malibu or, you know, one of those rental cars that you get. And the IM feels like a car. This is, feels like a car I would actually drive. Sporty looking seats. Lots of room in the back, dry cleaning, baby seat. So far so good, I like it. Morning everybody. Back in Team Scion today. Uh, you can tell, no, it's not the FRS. Probably my last day in the IM. And uh, it's been uh, pretty cool actually driving around in this car for, uh, what would be I guess three days. Um, and we've been all over the place, had the kids in it, gone to soccer, went to a dance last night, <laughs> all the things you do with the family car. Um, but I thought I'd uh, do a quick recap today, Scion IM versus the Corolla, since I had them both for almost a week. If I had to choose on the spot, I would say I would choose the IM. <laughs> Alright you guys, I'm not even joking. I just pulled through Starbucks in the IM, which I don't know, I'm not the youngest guy and I think driving around in IM is still acceptable. Um, I saw at least three guys, totally like gray hair, gotta be like in their 70s, rocking the Toyota Corolla. <laughs> what can I say about that? Oh, Toyota. You make great cars for my dad. <laughs> All right, last day with the IM. Rockin' Team Scion. <laughs> After my last couple of seconds of uh, post about the people driving the Corolla, I don't know. Maybe we'll go back and have another vlog one day about uh, Toyota. What's wrong with Toyota? It's made for our parents. Uh, young people don't want Toyotas, and I'm not that young. So the IM, sweet little car. All right, so let's talk about a couple of cool things. Styling. The IM has styling for days. Look at that. Sporty little grill features, cool looking wheels. Uh, Those are pretty sporty. Lots of progressive lines. Really like the lights. The daytime running light, I don't know if I'll pick this up in, uh, in this, if you can spot it, but the, um, the daytime running light is uh, LED. So that's pretty cool. One of the really cool features in this car is this sick rear design. The guys in the shop, I mean in the design studio, I can just see them sitting around a Scion table saying, hey, do whatever the hell you want to do. Just make it cool. Look at those lights. 
don't know how many of the angles there are in this car, but no matter how you look at it, it looks cool. It's kind of like having this boat, and I'm not a sailor, or going back to uh, old Toyota Corolla and having one of these. Come on, Toyota. Take all the guys from Scion. Bring them over. Has a cool kind of clean look to the car. And I think if I was picking up a commuter car, I still need four seats. Everyone knows I need a uh, car seat in the back. I would totally think about this car. Around the back, not a ton of room. Um, could still fit a stroller in there, a few bags. Probably compared to my SUV, um, maybe eight or 10 inches less depth um, for a small car that gets crazy gas mileage. Looks good to me. Okay, if you're a six-year-old, backseat of the IM looks pretty cool to me. Cup holders, door holders, all the good stuff you need. A little bit limited room. There's not a ton of leg room if you're a big person, you can see. Um, but like I said, this door sill, you can see the angle on this. Look how far back this goes. When it rains, yeah, that part of the seat that you can see, it's gonna rain on the seat. Uh, we found out the hard way last night at soccer, so I don't know long-term if that's a deal breaker or not. Maybe it is. So in the interior, passenger, driver, getting into the front of the car. Pretty nice setup. Everything's very intuitive. Funky seat design, looks pretty sporty. It's hard to see on the video, but there's actually like a little dot pattern and zigzags on here. Everything's very modern. Nice gloss trim. If you took this trim, put exactly this trim into the Corolla, and then take out that crazy rolly suspension and quiet noise thing they have going on, um, and then just let the design guys give it some style. Me and my son, I can tell you, we see a Corolla S and we laugh our heads off. It's the same boring Corolla with a tail. Come on, you guys. Let the Scion guys do a Corolla. Let's do it. <laughs>
manual mode, the shift, if you keep your foot down, uh, it doesn't pop into that automatic shifting. So that's the trick. If you're gonna do it, do it. <laughs> Here's one pet peeve. Okay, we've got touchscreen everything. I've got a heads up display over here. Um, I have no idea what time it is and I don't know where the clock is. Zion, what time is it? <laughs> How about this? Siri, what time is it? It's 10.30 a.m. Good morning. Thank you. Well, I just walked through the car again. Honestly, I don't know if the rain thing is a deal breaker. I really like this car. Driving it's a lot of fun. Maybe I should look at the weather network and see how many rain days we get in a year. <laughs> or maybe next time it rains and it's like pouring, pouring, and it's soccer night, uh, we stay home. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Don't forget to follow and uh, leave some comments. You know, it's, it's always crazy to me. You think you get like, you know, 500 or 1,000 views or something. And love your comments. See y'all soon. Going to have the car back tomorrow. Going to be stoked. All the finishing work. Uh, talk to the guys from the shop. And it sounds like everything is done. Um, lights are sealed, resealed. Halos are all working. The... Um, the carbon finish, uh, they were able to refinish the clear coat on the carbon. Yeah, so sick. Let's get, uh, get ready to do some driving again. Have a great weekend, everybody. Cheers.